Hello. I actually do not know who was this chapter. Psalms chapter 130. Let's check this out. The headline says, Waiting for Divine Redemption. A song of ascent. Out of the depth I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revived. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the money. More than those who watch for the money. That's another, that's again. Oh Lord, hope in the Lord. Oh Israel, oh Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love. And with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. You know, there is something I always say about God. I will say, He's my Father, the Lord who has never failed me, the Lord who we withhold something He feels is not good for me. It takes a very, very loving parent to do that to child. Whatever I want, and it feels it's not good for me, no matter how much I cry, he will give me. And then another thing, the reason I love him, he has never broken my heart. He has never made me feel bad. Even when I cry, thinking he's punishing me, I later find out, I have always found out that he's doing it for my own good. He's holding things that I do not need. And then the most of this chapter, the one that, that I love most, says that he does not, he does not, if he has to pay attention to her iniquity, if he has to mark our iniquities, if he has to schedule it, if he has to weigh it, like weigh it and measure it, who is going to stand? Can you stand? Can I stand? Like, if he has to measure our sins, the multitude of our sins. Actually, this is ministering to me. I don't know about you. I know that this is my message. Thank you. See you again. Ciao, ciao.